Hi guys, this is Jason here from Nathaniel School of Music. In this tutorial, we are going to look at a fusion scale used a lot in India and we are going to do this as an exercise. First, we'll start off as a simple finger exercise for piano players and uh, then we are going to get into some improvisation, some uh, ear training and then we are going to also play a few licks which I've composed over it. And I'm calling this entire series a fusion tutorial so that could mean it, it involves some lessons which are quite Indian in sound. If you take this scale for example, which I played in the beginning it's quite a Indian sounding scale right now I'm not going to talk about the theory or the names of this stuff or anything like that we're going to get straight into the lesson so the intervals used I'm going to take the key of D we're on D, D we're on the key of D so not really D major and it goes root major third perfect fourth uh, perfect fifth and the dominant seven so that's root major third perfect fourth perfect fifth flat seven so I'm going to explain you the notes in the key of D and I'll just play it and then talk D F sharp G A C could remember these notes you could also remember their intervals because throughout this lesson we are going to transpose it on not one scale. Most of the videos we learn, people will talk about it, even I just talk about it on one scale and then kind of leave it hanging. We are going to do all scales in this lesson. Okay, so stay tuned, get your keyboards out and let's first write the scale down. The scale is root, major third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, flat seven. Coming down. First we do it ascending and descending. Sagama pani pa maga sagama pani. Okay. And speed it up slightly if you like semi quavers. That's the drill. Now each scale or each key has its own mechanical issues about it, right? So, or uniqueness. So if you take D, these three fingers are clustered. Okay, but the root and the seventh flat I think will be very easy to play. Just the middle three notes you have to sort out. So, get this going. Now if you are not familiar with playing this with both hands, you can go with one hand, just that. There we go, bring in the left, and hold the pedal, that's fun, you don't want to hit a wrong note. Another wrong note, so please hit the right notes. There we go. Now, along with the D, let's try and figure this same drill out on multiple keys. Let's start with the key of C. Let's finish all our white or natural uh, scales. Then we'll move into the black scale. So for C. Now knee. Now look at the right hand. Right hand is a bit easy because the pinky kind of knee just curves out a bit. So just remember to kind of Use your wrist. This requires a lot of wrist motion to latch on to the pinky on the B flat. And then you can kind of circle your wrist as well. So you didn't have this concern with D. But here you have a concern because the last, the pinky finger has to go to the black note, which is not tricky. It just needs your hand to do a different action. Okay, that's us. the drill on C. Now when you're doing this in the left hand, 
the problem here is we don't want your elbow to keep you know getting clustered like that almost eating into the the stomach you know do you don't want to push it inside so to avoid that i just move my hand up and get this sort of motion when i'm whacking the right uh, left hand thumb sagama pani pamaga sagama pani pamaga sa so right you see the mechanics of both hands is slightly different right for d we didn't really bother about all that that much with d there was more like a collision between these notes so every scale will give you a different challenge see that has to happen okay d we already learnt now what's the next note e now with e almost carbon copy of d e g sharp a b d and if you read sheet music we've notated pretty much all of we've notated all the 12 scales for you so you can check it out download a copy and it'll also give you the sheet music of the next part which we are also planning to do which include my own transcriptions and other other things which you're going to enjoy for sure so for e almost like d now coming to f almost like c you don't have that pinky issue in the right hand little bit for c it's a bit more of a jerk for f it's slightly easier on f if you ask me for the left hand f you need to slide in like that we have c slide in f slide in Just trying to compare scales d and e are carbon copies maybe one more along the way e now let's do g g we are quite lucky all the white notes doing that also for some reason now a carbon copy of e so d fingering e fingering and a fingering are carbon copies a now for b slightly tricky in the left what i do need to do some wrist movement don't overdo your elbow don't jerk the elbow little bit of a wrist move movement pinky and this ring will be very weirdly there you have to deal with that right there we go right is actually very easy left is the tricky one that's b so we have c now d e f e flat watch that g only white notes a quite easy b little bit of a wrist movement So now coming to the black scales. So let me show you D flat. A bit congested here, but you'll have to kind of deal with the lack of uh, space, I guess. You could even keep your hand out and then bring it in just for the thumb. For the right, left, it's actually very easy. As long as you bend. curve your wrist out so or the challenge is 
we need to use all our five fingers to play this exercise. Okay, that's D flat or C sharp. Now E flat. Again, a bit congested, but super easy for the right hand. Left hand, little bit of juggling. Because the pinky and the thumb are on black notes. Can't really help that. That's why I chose this scale because it repositions your fingers with each key. With F sharp. Quite easy actually, F sharp. It's a bit more freer. Right hand is easy for pretty much all the black skills. Left hand. Again, do that angle thing. Let's do that together. Now, A flat. Let's play that a bit lower. Just watch your ring in the left. Again, quite easy in the right. Left. scale B flat the B's and the B flats just get your body to kind of move or sway in a weird way so because of the uh, the motion of the fingers okay guys so we've done C D we've done all the 12 keys with this what I'm calling fusion finger exercise it's a scale it's a pentatonic Indian pentatonic scale uh, five notes that's what the word penta means and before I leave you in this part I just wanted to mention when you practice try to make it a bit musical so if you do this you can imagine like a drum groove and wherever the snares are hitting you could kind of accent it harder Or maybe you want to just strengthen the weak finger, maybe the ring. Ring, then the ring gets strong, or maybe this ring. That's just something you can do. Volume adjustments of the notes will really help go a long way. Let's now move on to part two, where I'm going to talk to you about improvisation and how we can just try and organically fool around with the right hand while keep the keeping the left hand absolutely straightforward and it's going to be a great way to develop your hand independence stay tuned to part two practice part one really well on all the 12 scales think about getting yourself a copy of the notation and notes on patreon and do give the video a like a share leave us a comment what you thought about the lesson and let's move forward now cheers